Hi, I'm Ken Wheeler. I work at Formidable, and I'm here today to talk about cross-platform charting with React and React Native. Um, so at, at Formidable, historically, we've used D3 for our charting. And then this uh, new Just the View Layer library came out, and we had to figure out how to get them to play nice. Um, <clears throat> And that, that's, there's two ways that you can go about doing that, because uh, D3 gives you, you know, your data transformation, your math, and it also renders your charts to the DOM. Um, and React also handles rendering. So there's, there's two ways that you can go about it. The first is manual DOM mutation, where you're going to let D3 own its portion of the DOM. So you'd have your, uh, your chart component here. You'd render a container for D3 to render your chart into. Um, then in something like component did mount or a component will receive props. You're going to uh, calculate your scale, select your container, enter it, and render out your, your renderables. <clears throat> the other way to do it um, is to use React to render that data and not let D3 render any of it at all. This way, uh, you have your same chart component. <clears throat> Down in render, you can go and calculate your scale, render a container, um, but then as a child, call a render data function. Um, in here, it'll take scale, um, and then you really can just map over your data, uh, derive the data from props, and render out your renderables. Um, at Formidable, we thought this was the better way and liked it so much that we wrote a library around it. We call that library Victory. And there's also a big logo. <laughs> I'm just going to let it load because it's really nice. So we're just going to have to hang out here for a second. <laughs> All right, the clock's ticking. I'm sorry. It's dope. Um, so here's, here's Victory. Here's some, uh, some live Victory components right here on my slide. We have a bar. We have line, area, scatter, and pi. Yeah, I called that out of order. But uh, yeah, these are rendering right here in the slide. Um, and animating, uh, we wrote a custom animation component for it uh, that uses D3 Interpolate to be able to tween between uh, SVG path data. <clears throat> so when designing Victory, uh, we had a couple things that we wanted to do. First off, we wanted to make it friendly. Um, we wanted, you know, the D3 API is a little intimidating. So we wanted people to be able to get started right away. Um, you can see here, here's our Victory line component. Um, and you don't even need to pass in a data set. You could pass in a plot function here, uh, like a sign. We have that there. You don't even need that. Um, you can come in here and get rid of that, and you just have a straight line. Um, so getting started is really just throwing components in there. Uh, we also want it to be flexible. Uh, nobody wants stock charts. You want your own dope charts. You want to be able to trick them out. Uh, so we wanted to give you the opportunity to do that. Um, so as you can see here, Right? Uh, you can define all, you know, you can style them any which way. Uh, you can even define custom data points here. Uh, and we provide a, a function to do that. So based upon your data that, you know, is for that given point, you can render a happy cat or a sad cat or ASDF. You just undo that for a second. Yeah, and you can bump up your samples. And now you have a terrifying cat emoji snake monster. <laughs> Um, we also wanted them to be composable, right? So we're going to give you chart primitives, and you can take those and compose them together into more complex, sweet-looking charts. <laughs> uh, so as you can see in this example, uh, we have Victory Chart, which is the, the top-level wrapper. And what that does is it gives you your axis to work with, and then you can render different components right in there. Uh, so here we have a line, right? Let's make this look sweet. So I can come in and... Not my keyboard, it's all Yoro. Right, so you can uh, put a scatter in there. I could put an area if we want. And you can really go as crazy as you want. Um, so you guys might be thinking, what about native? I'll tell you what about native. So when we, uh, when we built this, we, we built it with inline styles. And you know, we didn't really see this 
coming, so to say. Uh, but React Native came out, and we were like, hey, we should now see if we can put these charts on native. Um, and it turned out it worked out really well because we use Radium, our uh, inline style library, which has an almost identical API to how React Native does styling. Um, and because we're using SVG, we can use React Native SVG, and really all you need to do here is, uh, you know, that's your browser version of a chart. And for native, we just capitalize it. <laughs> and it works on native. So here's a video that, all right, yeah, it loaded. Um, there's Victory on an iPhone 6 rendering. A little, little swipey, little animation. And it works. Uh, so if you guys think this is cool, you want to play with it, you can go to github.com forward slash formidable labs forward slash victory. Uh, thanks so much. Thank